Welcome to Techrix Info, the engineering tutorial hub. Uh, hi, let's learn about a common rail direct injection system or a CRDI system with the help of uh, this particular animation over here. So uh, clearly it will be explained here, but before going to the animation, let's identify the main components in a common rail system. So here initially we have the fuel tank. Uh, where the fuel, the diesel fuel is being uh, stored in. Then we have the primary filter, which is of a 5 micron rating. Then we have the electric fuel pump. Then uh, coming towards the secondary fuel filter, which is of 2 microns. Then the fuel pump. Okay, and we have a return line from the fuel pump towards the fuel tank. Uh, after the fuel pump it is being connected towards the common rail system this is the common rail system and from the common rail system the connection is going towards uh, each independent uh, injectors and we have a return line from each of these injectors marked in green uh, towards the fuel tank okay now let's see how actually uh, this system works uh, in normal fuel systems we we will not be having a common rail so in a normal system we need to avoid this red marked system from here so there is no common rail uh, from the fuel pump directly lines will be getting connected uh, independent or separate lines will be getting uh, connected towards uh, the uh, injectors uh, but in a common rail system there is a common rail that's why it's called a common rail system the fuel pump supply will be given to this common rail this is a high pressure rail and from this common rail uh, which has a similar pressure these connections are going towards the injectors okay how uh, the fuel has been transmitted let's see uh, the primary filter filters uh, the fuel uh, primarily which is a 5 micron uh, this electric fuel Pump, fuel lift pump is actually creating this suction for the fuel to come then after it has been uh, given towards the uh, secondary fuel filter then it again gets filtered under 2 microns this fuel pump is creating that suction and this fuel pump just supplies the oil or I mean the fuel uh, towards the common rail this is working at a high pressure that's about uh, 1200 bar one bar is about 14.5 psi so you, you must get how much pressure it is so it is highly pressurized system towards a common rail and with the help of the ecus electronic control units the fuel uh, supply is being gated as per the firing orders so these injectors and this common rail is being controlled by a electronic control unit and that unit determines how much amount of oil and how it need to be transmitted towards each of these injectors so uh, that's how a common rail direct injection uh, system works and this is very efficient and it is commonly used in modern uh, automobiles and vehicles it also reduces uh, uh, this emission terms for to satisfy the bs4 uh, uh, norms in the automobiles this common rail direct injection system has been used by diesel cars so i believe you got an idea about the common uh, rail uh, injection system thanks for watching for more engineering tutorial video updates please click the subscribe button on top of this video if you have find this tutorial useful please click the like button or drop a comment to motivate us we are also available on facebook Thanks for watching this video.